Hey, it's Jeremy here. Today we're gonna to be using the Blob Brush tool in Illustrator CC. First up, what you wanna to do to open up the Blob Brush tool, the shortcut is Shift B. You can also go to the left hand corner and the middle section you'll see, if you right click, you'll see you get your paintbrush tool, which usually pops up first. So if you see the paintbrush, you wanna right click and select the Blob Brush tool, which is Shift B. So what it does, it acts like a paintbrush, but the Blob Brush tool is mainly for coloring in. So if you have line work or if you're doing character design, or you're doing like sort of like a sketchy type of illustrative style, then you probably want to use this to do your coloring in. So the brush works by using the simple brushes in the normal brush panel, as you can see here. Um, it uses the default brushes here, which I can just select a color. And if I start painting, you can see it will start to just draw that out. The thing is with the blood brush tool, it doesn't paint as a stroke, but it's actually a fill. So you can see it actually paints and makes it a whole shape. You know, so we can scale it up, we can change the color, but it recognizes it as a shape, not a path. Another cool trick is that you can increase the size and decrease the size by using the left square bracket or the right square bracket. So it's similar to Photoshop. So I'm pressing the right square bracket to make it bigger and the left square bracket, as you can see there on your keyboard, I'm holding it down and it's making it smaller. So you can see I can paint it, I can go smaller. And if you have a Wacom tablet, it's probably easier to paint with as well, which is pretty cool. So we have that. Keep in mind that you can't really change the, the uniform. It just stays as that one um, weight, but you can choose a smaller circle like this and it, and it will work as you can see. So what we're gonna do is start to paint this character. So as I said before, it's really useful when you have strokes or paths on top and you're doing like a character and you you know you wanna paint under the lines. So you can see I have my face on the top layer and my blood brush is gonna be in this second layer. I'm gonna lock my face and press Shift B and start to paint in this um, layer here. So what I'm gonna do is gonna start to paint. Make sure you have the face, I'm just gonna turn off the fill of all these objects here. Make sure there's no fill, make sure it's just strokes, as you can see. And we'll go back to that layer, press Shift B and paint. So you can see I'm painting through these eyes like that. I can also paint and make sure that the fill is on the stroke. So you can press Shift X to switch from the fill to the stroke because it recognizes it as a stroke when it paints, but it doesn't make it a stroke, which is weird. So what I'll do, I'll go through. I'll start to paint. Obviously this color is a bit too brown for a skin color, but that's fine. So now you can see I've sort of painted outside the lines. A cool way to get rid of this is pretty much using the eraser tool. On the left hand side, right next to the pencil, and you'll see the scissors. We want to right click on the scissors and go to eraser tool. The shortcut key is shift E. This will allow us to quickly rub out the blood brush tool. And we can also increase and decrease the size using the same buttons as well. So you can see that it's gonna erase it and turn it in just to a shape. So you can see there it minuses out. So it's an easy way to clean up your shape and your colors under your main illustration or line work. And there we have it. So we've got those shapes and we've got these other two that we painted here. So that's how you use the blood brush tool. It's really easy. It's really great for, great for character design or if you're doing, you know, want to paint some line work or anything really. And that's going to be the best. So thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this tutorial, if it was too quick, too slow. And don't forget to click subscribe to get some more design content every week.